Fortnite's new season is finally here, but hold up, Peterbot, the legend himself, has just updated his settings for Chapter 6, Season 3, and today I'm about to show you the secret Fortnite settings that are keeping him ahead of the competition. These settings are game changers, and I've got the inside scoop to make sure you're playing at your absolute best. Forget the surface level changes, this is the deep dive into the settings you won't find anywhere else. Stick around, like, subscribe, and let's break it down. Frustrated with the lag and hyping while you play games? So guys, you need gear up booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. Let's dive into Peterbot's exacting game settings, which are crucial for achieving the high performance and accuracy needed for Fortnite at a professional level. Starting with display settings, Peterbot plays in full screen windowed mode for optimal input latency and stability. After the Chapter 6 update, he switched his stretched resolution from 1720x1080 to 1750x1080 to accommodate the new hitscan mechanics, improving visibility and field of view. Despite having a 360Hz monitor, he caps his FPS at 240, which aligns with the refresh rate used in most LAN events, ensuring consistent muscle memory during practice and competition. He uses performance mode to enhance FPS and minimize visual distractions, keeping meshes on low to reduce clutter during intense builds and fights. For visibility, Peterbot sets his brightness to 150% for better sight in low light situations like inside the storm. For clarity, he prefers the default visual settings over colorblind modes. His view distance is set to far, allowing him to spot buildings, loot, and structures from a distance without causing major performance issues. Player rendering is capped at 280 meters per the game's limitations. For editing, he disables pre-edit, enables auto-confirm edits on release for faster and smoother builds, and avoids using the new simple edit settings, which are not tournament legal. His HUD scale is set to 75%, ensuring a clean yet informative interface. On the audio front, Peterbot uses high sound quality, disables 3D headphones for clearer directional audio, and enables visualized sound effects to detect movement, particularly in hectic fights. For sensitivity, he sets both the X and Y axes to 6.4%, targeting and scope sensitivity to 45%, and building slash editing sensitivity to 100%, paired with an 800 DPI mouse and a 1000 Hz polling rate. This setup ensures precise, responsive aim and quick edits giving Peterbot a competitive edge in every match. Now let's push your optimization even further by using Park Control, an incredibly effective tool for unlocking your CPU's full potential, especially if you're aiming to match the kind of performance setup Peterbot uses in Chapter 6, Season 3. To download the tool, head over to uptopax.com. Once you're on the site, navigate to the FPS Boost section. You'll easily find the most recent post, It'll have the same title and thumbnail as this YouTube video, making it easy to spot. Click on the post and you'll see a direct download link available. Just download the file and you'll be ready to start optimizing your system for peak gaming performance in no time. Once you've installed and launched Park Control, scroll down to the section where you can choose a power plan. Select Bitsum Highest Performance. This plan is specifically designed to eliminate CPU bottlenecks by preventing the system from throttling performance with unnecessary power-saving features. With this selection, your processor will consistently run at peak performance levels, which is crucial for maintaining stable FPS during intense Fortnite matches. Now, head into the Advanced Settings section. Here's what you need to tweak. Set Parking AC, Parking DC, Frequency Scaling AC, and Frequency Scaling DC all to 100% and make sure they are disabled. Doing this stops windows from parking any CPU cores or downscaling the clock speeds, which means every core stays fully active and responsive while you're gaming. No more dips in performance due to passive power saving modes. Also, be sure to enable Bitsum Dynamic Boost. This feature intelligently manages your CPU threads, depending on workload, automatically shifting power where it's needed most. Whether Fortnite is loading textures or handling physics calculations, Dynamic Boost helps your CPU stay efficient and snappy throughout. With these park control settings locked in, your CPU will run exactly like it does on Peterbot's rig, maxed out, fully unlocked, and optimized for the fastest, smoothest Fortnite experience possible. Once that's taken care of, it's time to bring in another powerful optimization tool, 
Memreduct, a lightweight utility designed to free up valuable RAM in just a single click. After installing it, launch the app and you'll be greeted with a simple interface showing your current memory usage in real time. All you need to do is click the clear memory button and Memreduct will instantly flush out background memory hogs and release unused RAM that Windows often holds onto. This is especially useful for low-end systems with limited RAM where even small memory savings can make a noticeable difference. Running Memreduct before launching Fortnite, or even during long play sessions, can help reduce lag spikes, prevent stuttering, and keep your system running smoother overall. It's another pro-level trick that fits right in with the kind of fine-tuned performance setup Peterbot relies on in Chapter 6, Season 3, helping you stay competitive even on weaker hardware. Next, open the Best Registry Optimization folder from the Setup files. Inside, you'll find several .reg files. Install each one by double-clicking, don't skip any. These tweaks are tailored to improve how Windows manages processes, background tasks and input handling, making your system feel more responsive and stable. This helps reduce input delay and boosts performance, just like the registry tweaks used by pros like Peterbot in Chapter 6, Season 3. It's a quick but powerful way to turn Windows into a more game-focused OS. To get started with Gear Up Booster, Download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, Return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Next, let's apply some powerful Windows registry tweaks to maximize performance in Fortnite. Chapter 6, Season 3. These tweaks, inspired by pro player Peterbot's updated settings, prioritize Fortnite at the system level, reducing stutters, improving input response, and boosting FPS to keep you competitive. Begin by opening the Windows search bar, typing Registry Editor, and when it shows up, right-click it and choose Run as Administrator to ensure full access. Once inside, copy the registry path provided in the video description and paste it into the address bar at the top. Press Enter to jump straight to the needed key. Find the Affinity entry, double-click it, set the value data to F, and make sure the base is set to hexadecimal, then hit OK. Now look for background only and change its value to false. This prevents the system from misclassifying Fortnite as a background process. Next, locate GPU priority, change the value to E, and again confirm that the base is hexadecimal before saving. Then move to the priority entry and assign it a value of six to give Fortnite a higher CPU processing priority. Finally, update both scheduling category and SFIO priority by setting them to high. These ensure Windows handles Fortnite as a foreground, performance-sensitive application. One by one, apply all changes before closing the registry editor. Once these registry edits are complete, your PC will start treating Fortnite the way Peterbots does, allocating more CPU and GPU attention, reducing lag, and making your gameplay feel far smoother and more responsive. It's a smart optimization move inspired by the pros, perfect for dominating in Chapter 6, Season 3. To achieve the smoothest and most responsive gameplay, Peterbot fine-tunes his NVIDIA control panel settings, an essential step for competitive players. He starts by setting image sharpening to 0.5 for enhanced clarity without oversharpening and disables. Ambient occlusion to remove extra shadows that can impact frame rates. He turns off all anti-aliasing options except gamma correction, which preserves detail without affecting performance. 
To reduce input delay, he enables low latency mode on on or ultra, depending on his system's capability. He also sets power management mode to prefer maximum performance and manually selects the highest available monitor refresh rate for peak GPU performance. For smoother shader loading, Peterbot increases shader cache size to 10 gigabait, reducing stuttering. He sets texture filtering quality to high performance to prioritize FPS. After applying these settings, he adjusts color and gamma in the display. Adjust desktop color settings tab for better in-game visibility. One standout tweak is boosting digital vibrance to 80% to 85%, making colors more vivid and improving contrast. This helps players spot enemies quickly, especially in intense fights, and is a common setting among pros like Peterbot to enhance target recognition against complex backgrounds. Next, let's disable Storage Sense, a small tweak that can make a big difference. While it's meant to clean temporary files and manage disk space, it can kick in at the worst times, causing stutters or FPS drops, especially on slower drives. Disabling it ensures more stable performance, particularly on low-end PCs. To turn it off, open the Windows search bar and type Storage Sense. Click on Storage Settings from the suggestions that appear. This takes you directly to the Disk Management section. Once there, scroll to find Storage Sense under the Storage category. If the toggle is set to on, simply click it to switch it off. Disabling this background feature ensures that Windows doesn't run disk cleanup tasks during gameplay, allowing your system to stay focused on delivering stable performance and consistent frame rates. It's a quick change, but one that can make a big difference, especially when paired with all the other pro-level tweaks inspired by setups like Peterbot's in Chapter 6, Season 3. For low-end users, this simple step can eliminate unnecessary interruptions and make your overall Fortnite experience far smoother. Next, let's disable background services that quietly drain system resources. On ultra-low-end PCs, cutting these can boost FPS noticeably. Just like Peterbot's Chapter 6 Season 3 setup focuses on reducing system load for smoother Fortnite performance. To begin, open the Start menu and search for MS Config. Hit Enter to launch the System Configuration window. Once it's open, navigate to the Services tab. You'll be greeted with a long list of running services, many of which aren't required for gaming. To avoid disabling anything critical, first check the box labeled Hide All Microsoft Services. This filters out essential Windows components, leaving only third-party services. Now, carefully scan through the remaining entries and uncheck anything you don't use regularly, like software updaters, printer services, or media streaming assistants. Disabling these frees up both RAM and CPU cycles, improving responsiveness and frame stability. Once done, click Apply and then OK. Next, go to the General tab and choose Selective Startup. This allows you to control which components load during boot, giving your system a faster startup and reducing background clutter when you launch Fortnite. Then switch over to the Boot tab and click on Advanced Options. Here, enable the checkbox for number of processors and select the maximum number available. This tells Windows to make full use of all your CPU cores, which is especially beneficial in games like Fortnite that rely heavily on multi-threaded performance. That's all for today. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more tips. See you in the next one.